You ever wonder how these guys get in these lobbies where they go in there and there's nothing but bots walking around? And then all of a sudden they show up with this little image on the screen and talk about, Hey guys, join my VPN. Yeah, they, pro they probably don't sound like that. But you know what You know what they do. They're talking about the best VPNs to use, whether you're on PC or console. But uh, you're always like, do those really work? Well, long story short, somewhat. Somewhat. But let me tell you why they look better when they're in video than when you actually use them. So first off, they are nothing like the regular VPNs, like NordVPN, Surfshark, TotalVPN, IPVanish, blah, 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 ExpressVPN, and all the rest of VPNs that you may grab that are not exactly considered gaming. There's a big difference between the two, and I'm about to explain to you the difference. So a gaming VPN is designed to bypass or influence SBMM slash EOMM, supposedly to make it more optimized for latency and ping for a specific region that you may have selected. These VPNs let users connect to regions with less strict SBMM or different player skill pools, which can influence or manipulate SBMM in some way or another. Again, they say they prioritize low ping and minimize you know wait times so that you can get into a server faster with low ping, low latency, yada, yada, yada. The other side to that is the regular VPN. These ones are made for security, made for privacy, made for encrypting internet traffic, masking IPs, addresses, and general browsing rather than just gaming. It's more or less the casual stuff that you may do on the internet. These things also can make it to where if you're on Netflix, they can kind of make it to where you could put yourself in a different region and actually get the movies that they might have in that region or whatever that may be. Because sometimes we already know if you look for a specific movie, it won't even be on their Netflix. But if you put the VPN on, voila. There you go. These, however, do not prioritize any sort of ping, and their primarily purpose is for privacy. It's not anything to make your internet connection faster. You could actually notice when you get on one of these VPNs, it will not make anything faster. Matter of fact, it'll make it a lot slower. An easier way to understand the two is this. For regular VPNs, their servers are everywhere, versus a gaming VPN only concentrates on the servers for that specific game, like Call of Duty has, what, I don't even really know how many servers it has, but it only concentrates on those servers nearest, especially if you use a geofence. And a geofence basically makes it to where you only connect to that server that's technically closest to you. That right there lowers latency a lot more and also ping. But let me tell you right now, it will not eliminate SBMM slash EOMM. Do you understand? It will not eliminate. This is where a lot of people get things wrong. A lot of people think that VPNs virtually eliminate SBMM because of the lobbies that they see other people getting into. But that's not technically what happens. You see, these players use daytime servers when we're pretty much at work, or maybe you're at school. There are streamers that stream during the daytime. How does that make a difference, you think? Well, it makes a difference because not as many sweaty players or people hardcore players get on during the daytime. It's more or less when SBMM EOMM is more relaxed. I'm not saying there's no sweaty players online during the daytime. You're just less likely to run into them. This is especially more better when you can get servers in the early AM because on that time, most people just sleep and SBMM is more relaxed. It basically just gathers a bunch of people and puts them into a lobby where the skill-based matchmaking makes it more relaxed and they have more of a multitude of different skill levels. That's how this works. It grabs you and puts you into a place that you pick, which hopefully it's early in the morning or late at night, and we're talking 3 a.m. late at night and put you with more random players so you have more of a random experience. That is the whole point of this. Unfortunately, in more recent times or more recent games, Call of Duty has been more fine tuning and cracking down. Even methods of two boxing have they been more cracking down. You have to utterly have really bad stats and the person that you're joining or joins you has to have bad stats as the person that you're joining needs to be the host in order for things to work more flawlessly. Some of these YouTubers that make these videos actually go into lobbies that are designed that have just bots walking around. This is why you see the bots walking around. They don't look like they're doing anything. There's actually a person that hosts these bot lobbies so that other YouTubers or certain YouTubers can go in and make these videos. Meanwhile, you're getting the perception that these bot lobbies are made by these VPNs. In some cases, they use these in war zone lobbies where they all queue in at the exact same time, which gives you the false perception that these lobbies exist exactly like this. But wait, 
OBG, how do you know this stuff exists like this? What proof do you even have? Why do you, would you even say this and make this video? I've seen these guys get good lobbies. I've seen streamers actually promote this on their YouTube. And while that's true, let me just show you something. Here's but just one guy who jumps into bot lobbies that are hosted by the guys from his own Discord, which he promotes every single video just about, including on lock tools, to get these bot lobbies and then just say that they're VPN lobbies. Now I just wanna sit there and say that while nothing has been definitively proven, SBMM or EOMM has been broken, this is not really the method to use to get bot lobbies every single match. The estimated reduction in SBMM, lower populated regions, is about 20 to 30%. Off peak time zones, if you happen to get into the lobbies while there's not a lot of players, is 15 to 25%. And latency slash high ping lobbies is 10 to 20%. In other words, if you're gonna pay this money, like I believe it's up to $75, or in some places, they're doing it just yearly now. So in other words, if you don't find one that's forever, it's only yearly, I would say it's probably not worth it. You have better methods to getting bot lobbies, which I'm not gonna promote here, but I'll just tell you there's better methods to get bot lobbies. VPNs nowadays just don't work the way they used to in Warzone 1. And unfortunately, eh, people like to skew their kind of matches as well as Warzone matches just to make you believe that, hey, these actually work and come by my freaking VPN. While they get a kick down or pretty much are the owners or side owners of these actual websites, AKA the VPN websites. So if you like this video, hit the sub, hit the like. Those things are very, very, very appreciative. Or if you wanna join my Discord, the link's down below. And to add to it, if you wanna see me fish or just ride my e-bike around like a freaking idiot, I got a link down below where it shows my second channel. Only got like a couple subs on there. So yeah, and it's always helpful. It does take a little bit of work to go into these things and uh, re kind of research them. And I've actually had a VPN before and actually tried all this stuff and geofence it with it. Do I think these methods work? Well, probably not enough. Not enough to care. Not enough to make your life a whole lot easier breaking SPMM. And by the way, I hate it. Just to let you know, SPMM is garbage.